Guys, as you can see, the dining room is finally done. Yay. If you want to see how I transform my dining room from boring to inviting, stay tuned. And I will also tell you where I got some of the items and how you can transform your space with some little bit of tips. And at the end of the video, you'll see what I did to my table to give it a facelift. So stay tuned. Welcome back to She Dynamic, where we inspire and motivate women to create a life they deserve. Guys, really quickly, I'm gonna show you what my dining room looked like and what goals I have for it. I wanna add a really big artwork in the background, something minimalistic, clear the counter of all the mess, add some kind of vase or plant in the corner, new chairs, something minimalistic, and lighting, of course. All right, let's get to my chairs. Look at these chairs, beautiful. But um, yeah, when something's so beautiful, it makes you sink. <laughs> but anyway, these are the ghost chairs from Ikea. I absolutely love them. If you wanna know how much they are and what's the name of it, cause I don't remember what it is, go to my shop with me video, which I'll also have the link below. And then over here, I also got this from Ikea. Price and name is also in that shop with me video. As you guys can see, the dining room is really small which is why I wanted to keep it simple and clean and not put too much stuff and make it too cluttery, which is the main reason why I went with the clear chairs so that way it doesn't feel like closed in. The clear chairs will allow light to go through and make the place feel bigger without feeling like, ugh, this place is smaller and we need to get out of here. I just want it to feel comfortable and of course durable and something that's low maintenance and that's why I love those chairs. And plus it's just beautiful for the look that I'm looking for. Some people are into glam, some people are into farmhouse. Well, I'm into minimalism and clean lines meet a little bit of some traditional, which is where the table came from. This is not a minimalistic table, but because I already had it, I decided to work with it and um, make it fit into my design, into my decor. And I absolutely love it because I think the way the legs are made, it makes it look a little bit more modern and staining it a little bit darker. This is actually the second time I stained this table. The first time, whew, boy, was it a nightmare. It took me a week to do the original staining. This time I was not having it. I was not about to do that. So I took a shortcut and restaining this over again. And you'll see that in the end of the video. And this right here is an old flower pot that my mom had that I picked up from her a few years ago when she attempted to trash it. But I figured I'll repurpose it. And um, if you look at my shop with me video or my, yeah, my shop with me video, um, you'll notice that I repainted this. This right here is um, some sticks that I put in the pot. Originally, it was like a fake plant in here that looked really hideous and very dusty and allergy prone. <laughs> so I took that out and then I put these sticks in there. If you want to know where I got them from, make sure you watch the shop with me video and you'll see the details on that. But um, I don't remember the name. And over here is the painting. So for those of you guys who watched my last video on how I created this, you'll know that this is an Ikea hack that um, I did from an old painting, uh, a, a, a very popular painting that Ikea had, and I just took it and repainted it and made it my own to something minimalistic, like an abstract art. So that way I can have something unique in my space that would be a conversational piece. And I think I achieved that. Tell me what you think. And if you look closer, it's saying, who the sun sets free is free indeed. It's supposed to tell like a little story, uh, like a conversational piece. It's supposed to say that, you know, when you're in the darkness, there's always light at the end of the tunnel and the gold is supposed to be the streets of gold in heaven. So 
yep, just a little conversational piece. Tell me what you think it looks like because I've heard all types of stuff of what people think it looks like. So tell me what you think. And right here, I got my lighting, which I absolutely love, which was like a labor of love because this right here is not actually what it looked like when I got it. I'll show you a clip. What I pretty much did was take the ropes and wrap it around each one to give it a more natural look. And then at the end, I just roped it around again to bring them all together to give it more of a more expensive look in my opinion because before it just looked cheap. I bought this for $159, well, $149, which is not cheap by any means, but still, it didn't have the look that I'm looking for, which I was going for something more expensive looking. And I think I accomplished that. Tell me what you think. I got this from Wayfair. And um, yeah, it came in pretty quickly, but I absolutely love it. Now that I did all the work, which took me hours and days. It took me two days to get this done. And it, it, it fits exactly what the theme I'm looking for in my house, which is a minimalistic Scandinavian with um, black, white, and um, natural elements like this, like light woods and tans and hints of gold, which is what I'm going for in my house. And I think I did that. And as you can see at the base, I even spray painted it to give it that look. It wasn't even that color. If you saw what these cords looked like prior to me doing this, it was just like plastic, cheap looking cords. Ridiculous. I would have never left it like that. But if that's something you're looking to do, you can do that as well. I think it looks pretty good. We have the C table. This corner right here is a, a, a pillar that divides the living room and the dining room. So I figured I put something in the middle to kind of help separate it. And right here, this is the C table, um, which I love. My aunt gave it to me from my husband's side. He gave it to us as a gift. And it's so pretty. It has like this solid marble on there and it's so heavy. I mean like so heavy and solid, which a C table should be because they, they're easily turned over and you can really see when they look cheap. You don't want that. You want a quality C table and I love it. Thank you, Nancy. It's so pretty. We actually got it from City, Furn City Furniture is where she got it from, I believe. <coughs> And over here, this is a plant that I got from Target. So pretty. I love gold. You'll find accents of gold everywhere in my house. That actually was one of my uh, colors in my wedding. And I love gold. I just think it's so pretty. Actually, I love all kinds of metallics. But gold is my favorite, um, <laughs> as you'll see. But you won't see it like crazily all over the house. You'll just see like little hints of it everywhere. The main thing in our house is all white. I love fresh, clean, white. And then everything else is just the added bonus and accent to it. Kind of like the black. The black works as an accent for me. I don't like everything to be black. I love black. Black is another color that I love and I wear a lot. Um, maybe a little too much. But I love black. I think black except black is sexy and it makes everything look good, but in moderation. I just don't like too much black in one space. I think it looks gloomy, dark, and depressing. But if you do the hints in the right places, it can look very tasteful in my opinion. And the plant here, I got it from Ikea. And it's called the mother-in-law's tongue. Don't ask me why. <laughs> That's just what it's called. And they have another name for it, but I don't remember what it is. But yeah, got that from Ikea. So yeah. And then over here in the pillar, this is actually a, a light fixture that faces towards the living room. We'll go into that some other time. But right here in the pillar, you have the uh, artwork that I have here. It's a heart. And I just think it's so pretty. Look at the nails with the crossover gold. Oh, beautiful. I love this. I got it from Hobby Lobby on clearance. You got to check out Hobby Lobby. They have some great clearances, actually. This was actually a, a tan woodish 
light color wood frame. But, you know, I had to bring it to code. <laughs> All right, guys, let me just educate you real quick on what's to code. I have this thing where if something doesn't meet my standards of what I'm looking for in my house, I'll say bring it to code. So don't be surprised. It's called the Jovi code. So this is what this is here. So I pretty much painted it black so that way it can actually fit into the theme. And the white area was a was really dirty, so I just kind of repainted it again, which I still need to touch it up as you can see, but still for now it's doing what it needs to do. And the nails on the heart kind of remind me the, at the, of the cross with the heart. But anyways, that's another day, but I love it. It's very pretty and it, it complements the major painting here on the side. And I think it works well together in my opinion. So yeah, this is the dining room. Nothing big, nothing small in my opinion. It serves a purpose. And there you have it. Don't forget to stay tuned to the end of the video to see what I did with the dining room table to give it a facelift. All right, guys, as promised, this is how I actually restained my table. It was pretty quick. It only took me like a few hours, like maybe two, like two or three hours um, to restain it, maybe a little bit more. I really don't remember. But it was quicker than when I originally stained the table a few years ago, which took me about almost a week to two weeks to do. And that's because I sanded it properly. In this case, I didn't sand it as well as I should, which I don't recommend only because it took this table almost a month for it to dry because it was not sticking as well as it should because I didn't sand it down enough. So what ended up happening is that it stayed tacky for like a few weeks and anything that came across the dust, anything, it would just stick to it, which I don't recommend. But if you really want to take the risk, you can. But in the end, it worked out nice and it looks really beautiful and I don't regret it. Now, this is the final product. Don't forget to subscribe.